Hey peeps, it's Triple L, and now let's talk the recent Naruto Shippuden episode, episode 487. First off, for people that might be wondering, um, I apologize, I didn't do it last week, I was really busy, and this is one of the videos that were kind of lower priority. Anyway, um, let's just get right into it, let's just talk about this episode. First off, let's just put out what this episode gave us. Overall, I really do think it's a very chill episode. It's alright. This episode gave us a little bit of a fight at the beginning and then it just went into full on flashbacks just to, I guess, flesh out the motives and the past of the antagonist. And if you were to kind of really try to pull something meaningful out of this episode, uh, you could have maybe a discussion on the philosophies or the logic of what transpired in the episode, the logic of the people who did wrong to the lightning gang and the way that the lightning gang retaliated that'll be probably the the most discussion you can really draw out of this episode but anyway let's just get right into it, the episode and let's just kind of break it down now so the thing with this the thing with the sasuke redemption story um this novel that was now adapted into the anime the most interesting character here is of course sasuke and then every other character that we knew from naruto shippuden and so, when you have these two new antagonists, they go through the works, they have to go through, they have to check off all the points, and they have to become relatable or they have to be understood in order for, for us to be finished with this thing. It's just the way Naruto works. And so, in this episode, you know, that's a, that's a fundamental flaw, I think, of having a mini-series or a mini-arc. It's because you have to kind of work on these characters very quickly and that's not how Naruto works well. If we look back to Naruto itself, if you think back to enemies like say, um, who can who can we talk? Oh, Mad Madara in particular. Yeah, he's the biggest example. He was a character that everyone knew about for years and he was much well, well he was way better received when it was coming to the final fight and then when Kaguya came out of nowhere. You know, there was just no connection. There was no real kind of satisfaction when the guys beat her down because she's a character that just really wasn't established. And this whole thing about establishment is something very important for Naruto because that's how it kind of works. Itachi was a good villain or was a good character because he was established all the way throughout Naruto. Let's see other people. Pain. Pain was okay. Pain had more episodes to work with, but he was established through his relationship with Jiraiya and then his culmination with Naruto. Again, that one was a bit sped up, but hey, it was still a bit better than this. When it comes to the to these enemies, the Lightning Gang, it's really a case of where you're seeing what Naruto does over a long period of time being compressed in effectively one episode. And so this isn't that interesting. Not the, these characters' plight. Especially because Naruto has this thing where, and now it seems that it's uh, crossing over to the spin off material, where they do focus on the theme of loneliness or being isolated. Heck, Fushin is an echo to the whole idea that an irregular power, an irregular power set isolates people because other people are afraid. The same thing that happened to Gaara, the same thing that happened to Naruto, the same thing that happened to the Uchiha clan to some degree. Um, you know, this story really is trying to draw parallels. And heck, even with the last episode where Orochimaru pretty much made the connection that the Uchiha who were persecuted also got involved in persecution. You know, they're, they're trying really hard to make these connections to what is the theme of Naruto or what they perceive to be the theme of Naruto. And that's not a bad thing. It's just it doesn't work well when it's applied to Naruto as a series because it has a particular way of executing things. And so... Yeah, what ultimately ends up happening is that unless you develop an attachment to these characters is that the majority of the episode might not be that interesting to you. For me, you know, the majority of the episode with the flashback, the whole thing about human nature, seeing that the gang got turned away, you know, that's an interesting thought. It's the idea like people are with you when you're high, but they're nowhere to be seen when you're low. And it's unfortunate, but this is the thing that's happened in Naruto's world for a very long time, this is pretty much what the majority of their villains run off on. It's just people being dicks. So in that regard, you know, these guys aren't the first to suffer in this way and they're not going to be the last. But hey, it just means we've got more material in the future. Now, I don't really want to rag on the characters, you know, like their plight, 
are you know it's not it's not nice when people are suffering and this is showcasing a form of suffering um now the interesting thing is what how quickly uh chino actually resolved to have revenge it was very fast the moment she got to her i guess ancestral homeland she just triggered and actually seeing how she discovers the ability to blow up people was actually very interesting and seeing that just the moment she got that power she just triggered it into full-on revenge mode but at the end of the day even that revenge is relatively close-minded it's as close-minded i think as the people who shunned them in the first place because it's like yeah i'm just gonna go kill everyone that screwed me over and you know that's okay K, I guess in the in the immediate but then it, it causes issues like people like Sasuke coming to hunt them down or it's just it's a very empty goal I think and with Sasuke in particular we've seen this whole kind of life of living for revenge we, we know where that ends we know that it's not the most worthwhile pursuit it might cause some pretty badass fights but it's not that worthwhile overall you know it's an interesting plight, but at the end of the day, these characters are short-sighted, and this very series that is Naruto has already proven to us that these characters are short-sighted by the mere existence of Sasuke. Now, other things that I find interesting, um, well, the fight was pretty interesting. It was cool to see Susano again, and it was cool to see uh, Sasuke kind of deal with good old Fushin. Um, let's see, other things. I do think Chino was very cute and adorable I, I don't know charming she was charming in her younger days with her longer hair it was pretty cool she was a lot more nice to watch than she what she is right now like she had a bit more energy to her in her younger days which is actually pretty interesting because like not very much change in her face that's another question what do you think about that is that like just lazy design why not make differences to this girl instead of just making her perpetually young anyway other things um the animation the art quality at the beginning and eh, not the best but it was, it was bearable um it was good enough to see what we were getting uh ultimately this episode was here to tell a story it was ultimately here to tell us about these characters and just set up the fight for sasuke and chino so you know I, it accomplishes that it's just at the end of the day it comes back to this episode gives you a payoff dependent on how invested you became in these characters and that might be kind of difficult because we just met them three episodes ago it, it, it's kind of difficult but regardless um, Sasuke is the main attraction here and this episode was very very little Sasuke in this episode so next episode I think will be a bit stronger just because the man of the hour will be there and it'll be interesting to see where exactly he goes anyway guys that's it for me. Uh, it's an alright episode. I'm just personally not that invested in the characters. And ultimately what we're seeing here are things we've seen before thematics. Uh, yeah, in, in the theme sense. Anyway, guys, uh, let me know what you think down below. And uh, let's leave it till next time. I hope you have a great day.